So we are back at Goodwood and we are racing old cars. It's our way of showing a tribute race to the Manila Sports Car Club's revival racing that race in the club and racing series. So we got some old old sports cars racing at Goodwood. Uh, in the lead would be Penn and Lancia Stratos, 1973 I think. Then Arjo is driving a 1984 Ferrari GTO. In third we got Pat driving a De Tomaso Pantera and I am driving a Jaguar E-Type and the race starts. Penn is driving a small car which fits his stature and has, is using his light weight and small frame to be and making adva taking advantage of his very nimble and light car to get the good start and he's ahead as we begin. Pat now is chasing down Penn in his and in his pantera, and it's not the band from those metalheads. It's a car, and Arjo is chasing him down in a Ferrari GTO while I am chasing everybody down and falling behind in my E-Type jacket. It's, it's those E-Types are gorgeous. I slide around with my tail hanging loose and fall more behind. Penn has now lost a spot to Pat, and also Arjo. Arjo is shoving or forcing his way through. He seems to have pushed Pat off the road a little bit, but Pat is holding his ground and is regaining first place. Penn has regained and lost second place. Arjo is getting side by side with Pat and not really... Pat's not really leaving him in a room, any room, so... Well, it's a race. Pat ends the first race and enter, friend, ends the first lap and enters the chicane in front. Head of Arjo. That's Pat once again in the in the Ditto Maso Pantera in front. Once again, I'd like to clear out that that Pantera is a car and not the heavy metal band with the bald headed singer. But that band's pretty cool too. I'm a big fan. So back to racing. We got Pat still in front, leading Arjo in his GTO. I found a way through ahead of Penn, so my guess is Penn has screwed up somewhere and just opened the door and let me through easily because he had a pretty big lead earlier, so Penn must have been screwed up somehow. Uh, I'm trying to chase them two guys in front, but well, those two guys' cars have much more power than mine does, and honestly, it's kind of hard to drive that jack with a lot of understeer. But, well, Francis seems to have gotten the penalty. Arjun. So I'm guessing Arjun maybe tried to push Pat off the track again or has cut corners around the racetrack and gotten a half second penalty. And is diving on Pat entering the corner and Arjun has found a way to get ahead. Surprisingly, Arjun does a clean move. Wait! It's once again, we like into the chicane. Arjun does a great little slow though and holds a Pat. Pat is trying to overtake the Ferrari, but that Ferrari seems a little bit too fast for, for Pat's Pantera. Pen is way behind, and I am just pretty far behind the leaders anyway. So R just seems to be pulling ahead. Once again, this, uh, this commentary is completely unbiased, and uh, I have no, there's nobody who I like or dislike any more than anybody on the track. So there's Arjun once again in a most likely uh, in the car with the biggest advantage against everybody else. And he still seems to be making mistakes. He is slowing down too much. Maybe he's trying to check brake uh, Pat. Ooh, he shoves Pat a little bit. Pat recovers. Pat surprisingly doesn't hit back, but Pat's a clean driver. So is Arjun. Sometimes. A few times. Ooh, he's in front. Yeah. Once again, this is unbiased commentary. By Easy, if you don't know me. Well, you should, because I kind of on my Facebook page and posted it. Anyway, Arjo is still keeping ahead of Pat, and Pat is still trying to catch Arjo and trying to find a way through. I'm guessing right now he's just waiting for Arjo to possibly make a mistake, so a mistake and take advantage. But Arjo seems to be driving. Flawlessly, 
except for a few attempted nudges. Oh, yeah. Little cut in there. He's flashing his lights because that proves that he is racing with a controller. By the way, everybody here on GT Sport, at least in this group, in this race, everyone here is racing with a controller. Um, we've actually seen somebody bring a, a Pantera to take in one of the races, but not to race with in club of racing. Not to race, but to watch. I don't remember what car the guy raced or if, was a friend, if he was a friend of the racer, but I'm seeing this up close. It's, one, it's a beautiful car. I haven't seen the GTO in person though. We have had an E-Type Jaguar, the car I'm driving in this race, racing in the Clubman series. But we are yet this... Ooh, and Pat makes a mistake, goes into grass, and Arjo takes advantage and leaves him behind. So a mistake by Pat cost him a lot of distance between Arjo and Arjo's deep and clean and looks like he's gonna take this all the way to the checkered flag. Once again I was saying that I, our group in Club and Racing Series would love to hopefully one of these days see uh, see the Lancia Stratos race with us. That'd be gorgeous. So Arjo wrestles the steering wheel if you can see him in the driver's seat. And takes a dominant win in this Ferrari GTO followed by Pat in the in the, the, the Tommaso Pantera. There I am in third and Penn is fishtailing in the back. So I'm gonna cross the line in third with the Jaguar E-Pipe. Penn's gonna finish it up in his lancher.